Yeah. And of course, Terry Danaher has been a real star down there. There we see Justin Madden coming around there, having a bit of a warm up. I don't think they'll need him now because they're doing okay, the Bombers. They're 17 points in front. And we're at the uh, just on the 25 minute mark. Ball well, back out there towards that uh, wing position. Oh, uh, Vanderhaar flew high. Waddell's in there too for Carlton, but the umpire will ball this up for sure out there on that half forward line. About 70 metres out from the uh, Carlton goal. That must seem like about three and a half miles to the Blues at the moment because they've been pretty tired. It's been a tough game tonight. Knocked out by Fitzpatrick over the top of uh, Madden. And there'll be a free kick uh, to uh, uh, Simon Madden because the umpire said that uh, Fitzpatrick got into his back. Well, the Bombers look as though they could win this flag and uh, will this be the start of uh, many more premierships to come, particularly 1981, because they've got the side to win a flag. There's no doubt about that as we see the ball going to have to watch them. What a player this guy is. A hand pass over to Bahaja, a bit long. The little fella can't pick it up. He's only upended, but he won't give in. He's full of intestinal fortitude that comes out to Hawker. Running with an open goal and the hand pass coming over here now to Watson. He can't pick it up in time, but he'll turn, he'll balk, and then he'll go for a hand pass back. It's not a good one. Grabbed by Waddell. He doesn't know what to do with it down there at fullback for Carlton. Finally gets a hand pass there to English in that back pocket. The ball falls short. In comes Dool at the back of Foles. He goes down. And the umpire said, OK, play on as we see Vanderhaar go for a short pass. And a mark there to uh, Bahajar at, at half forward, about 45 metres out from goal. Well, it looks as though it's the Bomber Premiership of the Escort Championship for 1981. Eight goals, 10.58, the Carlton 6.5.41 as we approach the uh, 26 and a half minute mark. Pack gathering there in front of the uh, Eston goal, only about uh, 15 metres out. So it'll be a ball up. No, Kevin Sheedy would be pretty happy with his size performance tonight after coming back like they did, Bob. He's most certainly entitled to be, uh, Lou. Essendon as a team are going from strength to strength. There's Hawker breaking through the pack, and that'll be another goal. No, it must have been touch going through. So it's, uh, let's see, six goals, 5.41 Carlton to Essendon. Eight goals, 11.59 at the 27-minute mark. Here it is in replay. I think he might have just missed it. Yeah, he might have. I don't know what it yes. was that quick. Umpire running one across and indicating one behind. So over two minutes of time on being played already. I think they're happy to keep it at that end anyway, yeah, Pete. Yeah, don't they're <laughs> worrying about it now, Pete. Certainly will. They got the money in the bank, I would say. Around about over 80,000. Not bad. Eston, of course, opened the series here on March the 7th against uh, Fitzroy, I think it was. Hawker taking the mark. Hawker's so, second half has been great. Well, this would be 11 in a row they've won now, concluding their night matches, isn't it? I think it might be 12, but it been yeah. 12. Something pretty and close. even doesn't. So, Hawker having a shot for goal from 35 to 40 metres out. Hasn't scored one tonight. It could be his first. If he can get the distance, he can't. Ball hits the deck now. It's out of bounds. So, a throw in to take place adjacent to the behind post. Of course, the presentation will follow a final siren, which would certainly be imminent at the 28-minute mark. Fitzpatrick, free kick. Merritt edged out. Or is it Danaher? No, it's Merritt, I think, will take the free kick. Not that there's much doubt about the result now. Merritt got one uh, seemingly in the eye, judging by his actions out there. Yes, Essendon Ruckman has hit to score a goal tonight, but he'd like to get his name in the goal kickers in the grand final side, and maybe it will be a premiership side. We'll know that shortly. But it's been a disappointing second half from Carlton, who at half time led 24 to 8. But in the second half, it's been all Essendon who have kicked four goals so far in this quarter. Four goals, one actually. It could be 5 1 on the Merritt. If uh, Merritt can convert, he has done. So Merritt picking up his first goal, Essendon go further ahead, but the scoreboard is a formality at the moment with Essendon 9-11-65 for Carlton 6-5-41, a difference of 24 points or four even goals. Very good second half from Essendon. You really can't say much more because the scoreboard tells the story. Well, they've had plenty of good players and as we mentioned too, in that second half their defence has been magnificent. We've seen some Brilliant play by uh, by Watson, also Foles doing a great job there, and uh, little kid down there in the back pocket hasn't been a bad player either, Muir, Bob. No, he's been a good player, Lou, but Desert in this half have kicked eight goals, nine, while Carlton could only add two, five. Well, Nagel got one a little bit too high and decides to level the score. 
He's got the free kick, though. Nagel, short of half forward. Ball picked up by English and driven back whence it came. Nagel again. Simon Madden to the point of the square. Whitnell out to Ken Sheldon, having plenty of trouble trying to pick the ball up. Carlton ball handling in the second half certainly hasn't been good. There's the siren. Essendon have won it. Essendon winning their first night premiership. The final scores. Essendon 9-11, 65. The Carlton 6-5, 41. And the charge is on.